Hello everyone, this is Jinnath from Bangladesh. I'm a first year PhD student in the University of Queensland, Australia. My PhD research focuses on impact of commercial poultry trading networks on zoonotic disease transmission in Bangladesh. To talk about background objectives, methodology, some preliminary results and conclusion. Approximately 20% of all protein consumed by the human population in Bangladesh are coming from poultry products. From 2010, the annual poultry meat consumption has been increasing and it will be more in the coming years. The commercial poultry sector is expanding gradually from 1990 and there were almost 400 million poultry in Bangladesh during 2019. But the rapid intensification of poultry farming also increases the risk of uh, different zoonotic diseases like avian influenza. More than 50% of poultry farms and hatcheries had to close due to the avian influenza outbreak in 2007. Prior studies showed that the avian influenza risk is lower in farms but higher in labor markets. So it's important to understand what is happening in between the farm and the livebird market. Our objective is to describe the live poultry trading chains in Bangladesh and also describe the movement pattern of the traders and how this movement pattern influence the risk of avian influenza in chicken. We will also explore some anthropological, social and transactional factors which impact the trading patterns. To identify the poultry trading chains, we selected live bird markets from five cities of Bangladesh, Dhaka, Chattogram, Kumilla, Bogura, and Joshua. We visited the live bird markets and interviewed the managers. And we also interviewed the stall owners who trade poultry. We asked the stall owners about the traders or middlemen and uh, who supply chicken to the stalls. And also when we interviewed the middlemen, we asked the contact info of feed dealers who supply chicken to them. Similarly, when we interviewed the feed dealers, we asked about the farms who supply chicken to them. Now, who is a trader? A trader is a person whose main activity is to uh, buy chicken from the farms or from other traders and then selling the chicken to the consumers or to other traders. But uh, the feed dealers are the person who provide uh, credit and production input to the farmers and they connect the middlemen and the farmers, but they don't uh, transport or store chicken by themselves. From the previous stage of our study, we have a list of middlemen from Chattogram. The, we categorize the middlemen into large, medium, and small, depending on the number of chicken traded per day. From that list, we selected 15 middlemen purposively who agreed to participate in the study. Now we are recording the movement of this middlemen from farm to different cell endpoint using a and app. We will be doing total 87 trips. Now, uh, what is a trip? A trip includes uh, starting of the chicken truck from the middleman's place, and then the chicken truck goes to the farm, collect chicken, and then distribute the chicken to different uh, sale endpoints. This is the outlook of the app. Uh, when the chicken truck start, we also start the app and record the whole trip like this. And also for each stop, we, we are collecting some survey data. And to assess the impact of trading patterns on even influence of virus in chicken, when the chicken, uh, when the traders collect chicken from a farm, before the chickens are loaded into the truck, we collect oropharyngeal swab samples from five chicken at the start of the trip. And then we use some leg band to tag the bird and then the same five chickens are again sampled at the end of the trip. 
These samples are tested for engine of avian influenza and the positive samples are subtyped for H5 and H9. But after doing 40 trips, we could not get uh, the positive samples. So we changed our strategy slightly. Now we are collecting five chicken samples from at the start of the trip. And then the chickens are transported as usual with other chicken. And at the end of the trip, we buy this chicken and then bring them to a shed in Sivasu and then again collect samples at 12 hour and 24 hour interval. To explore the factors impacting trading patterns, we are doing in-depth qualitative interview from 15 middlemen and 15 staff. Uh, some uh, themes we're exploring are price negotiation, adaptation to price fluctuation, obstacle in transportation, and business relationship with farmers and livebird markets. This is the preliminary result. There are three kinds of stalls, wholesale, mixed, and retail. As you can understand from the name, wholesale and retail. But the mixed are the stalls which practice both wholesale and retail sales. We have seen that all the wholesale stalls had uh, unsold chicken at the end of the day during the study period. But mostly the mixed stalls keep the unsold and newly purchased chicken at the same place together. And the median number of exotic broiler remain unsold were higher in mixed stall, whereas the median number of unsold shonali were higher in wholesale. On the other hand, unsold indigenous chicken where median number of unsold indigenous chicken were higher in retail stall. We explored more than 600 trading chains for both exotic broiler and shonali. The most common chain for both exotic broiler and shonali were from farm to feed dealers to mobile traders and retailers, but it needs more exploration and explanation. This dot, they are showing the live bird market we interviewed in Dhaka and Chattogram. And the greenish area, they are showing the location of the farms from which the chickens are coming to the live bird market. Among the 87 trips, we have completed 77 trips. During one trip, the chicken truck has on an average has nine stops. The stops may include farms, a live bird market, chicken storage facility, or roadside trading sites. The middleman has a varying number of chicken trucks, but sometimes when they have to uh, trade more number of chicken, they hire the trucks from other middlemen. This figure shows three to four trading paths, which we captured in our app. During one trip, uh, the chicken truck uh, traveled on an average 101 kilometer distance. And from one stopping point to another, the median distance was 2.4 kilometers. During 90% of the trip, the traders collect chicken or mostly from one farm, but sometimes they have to collect chicken from more than one farm. And they, the traders uh, purchase 160 to more than 2,000 chicken from a single farm. And a single chicken truck can transport 784 chicken. And during a single trip, the chicken trader supply chicken to 4 to 16 uh, sale points. So the live bird market is the most common uh, sell points. Almost 80% of chicken are sold to the live bird market. In the live bird market, they sell chicken to minimum one to maximum eight vendors. But in the roadside trading side, they supply chicken to one to two vendors. This is the laboratory result. Uh, from the first stage of our sampling, we, di we did not get any even if in the positive sample at the start of the trip, but 3.3% uh, samples are positive for avian influenza from the uh, end point of the trip. 
but at the second stage of sampling, we, we have got 10% of sample positive for avian influenza at the start of the trip. And the number of positives, percentage of positive sample increases in the interval sample. And we subtract 14 samples from 47 positive samples, among which H5 positive was 11 and H9 positive was 1. So it should be mentioned that when the traders uh, send the chicken truck, they don't go with the chicken truck themselves. Rather, they send three to four uh, staff with the chicken truck. So the staff merely follow the instruction from the middleman and the staff don't always follow the biosecurity uh, measures. And we have seen that the middleman said they are more comfortable to do business with feed dealers uh, because uh, they can uh, source chicken from farm easily through the uh, feed dealers. And if there is any problem with the chicken uh, from, the, from one farm, the feed dealers can help to source chicken from other farm within a short time. And also the middleman can do business in credit with the feed dealer. They don't have to pay in cash. So some initial observation from our study is that feed dealers are an important factor in the trading chain of both poultry, exotic broiler and shonale. And the live bird markets are not only the end point, sometimes the roadside trading sites can also be the end point of chicken and the risk of influenza are most likely to be uh, increased by the distance traveled by the chicken truck and the number of stopping points during a trading trip and the duration of chickens maintained in a trading chain so we'll be doing some network analysis of the trading chains and the movement pattern and we'll identify the uh, intervention points where to give the intervention to reduce the risk of avian influenza. Thank you for your concentration.